has travelled the longest distance there is in the British media, from page three to page one. Her ambitions as a singer once aroused scepticism on top of everything else she aroused, but today she's a national name and an international concert hit with songs like her latest, Let Me Be Free. Samantha Fox. <laughs> Samantha, are you ever surprised by reactions from audiences around the world? Definitely. Um, in India, I never even knew anybody knew me. And I arrived in India and... Um, we did a sound check and we, we thought it was going to go to a small club or something and we weren't. We was in Gandhi Stadium with 70,000 Indians bobbing about. It was <laughs> quite amazing, really. Well, you would get a lot of Indians in India, yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. bobbing about. Yeah. You, went, you went down a storm in Bosnia. I saw all of the photos and everything. Yeah. yeah, no, that was great. It was the time when the war was pretty, you know, it's at its peak. And they put you in the kit. Right? They did. Yeah, I had to wear a bulletproof in. vest, yeah. which is quite uncomfortable. Yeah. And it really was. Have you ever tried to wear it? It was 90 degrees heat, and I was in this bulletproof vest and a tin helmet. I looked lovely. <laughs> and um, we'd go along in the cars, which, 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 which were bulletproof, um, thank God, you know. And um, as we were going along, there was all these... Well, I didn't know it was bullets at first. I was uh, like... The actual bullets coming at you? Yeah, bullets right. hitting the car, left, right and centre. And I was sitting there, and I was like... What do you oh, think they no. were, bees? I didn't know. <laughs> they were to be honest I could just say shh, shh, and I think I said to this guy what's that he goes don't worry Samantha it's, it's quite under control don't matter just sit there and uh, keep your head down keep your head down and I uh, forget that I just laid on the bottom of the car I was just lying down like this and I remember lying and thinking oh no what if one gets me in the bum it's gonna kill me. <laughs> you know I didn't care about getting shot in the arm or anything but in the bum wouldn't that be painful so I got me tin helmet and I just held it there like that <laughs> Quick thinking, as always. Yeah, yeah. So, Samantha, there have been plenty of page three girls. Uh, what, what have you got that the others didn't? A couple of things. No, not really. uh. um, well, I've, I'd like to say, I'd like to ask you that question, because... I've never been on page three, <laughs> I auditioned, but I failed. Oh, you could be a great page eight mate, actually. Why did you retire from page three? Let me ask you that. I, I got kind of bored with it, to be honest, in the end. It, I wanted to um, just go into other things and do other things, and every day just getting ready, putting the makeup on, putting the Carmen rollers in. got kind of monotonous, and the pictures, let's face it, page three, it's very similar every day. There's not a lot to it. It's, you know, stick your boobs out, arch your back, smile. And I wanted to do other kind of... Did you ever regret doing it? No. Yeah. You can't regret doing something 5,000 times. Yeah. You know, it was no... <laughs> I mean, I'd be silly, wouldn't I, if I said, oh, I didn't mean it, you know, I just wanted to get on with my career, and, you know. Well, no, it you're, was you're, a you're really a national figure now, and how are you treated by the British public? Is there a difference between the way men and women treat you? In the beginning, I think women were kind of, um, you know, my look, obviously, looks can deceive, and a lot of people can have preconceived ideas how you must be, so as soon as I could get on any chat show of any kind, I wanted to get on there to prove that I had a brain and a personality. Um... What did you ask me again? Well, <laughs> I, uh, I was going to ask you. <laughs> I was going to ask. Sorry, you know, I'm I, to... I was asking, is there any difference between the way men and women treat you? Oh yes, yeah, so that's right. So by getting on television and letting women know that I wasn't a yeah. blonde bimbo, yeah. uh, I gained a lot of respect from women early on. You know. I always knew you were smart because you were always there. And if you're always there, then you must be smart. Well, I've yeah. been around for 14 years now. Were well, you, ever, you ever tempted to change that accent of yours? I never wanted to change whatever made me famous in the first place. And obviously, the way I spoke, the way I looked, was down to what has made me today. And people did try to tell me to go to elocution lessons at the beginning. But thank and God you ignored them. I told them where them. to go, <laughs> to be quite honest. Don't you think, change your thing, Samantha. No, Talking to you is like being showered with sparks. Thank you very much, thank Samantha you. Fox. <laughs>